Hello everyone, this is Watson. I'm here on behalf of Princess Siwongere, who is a bit tied up with the preparations of the next episode of the Becoming More podcast. I just wanted to share something with you people. I've been given a segment called um, Usuliwa. It's a new segment to the Becoming More podcast. It's becoming just before the main episode is published. Usuliwa, it's a logo term that means being underestimated. I just wanted to use this opportunity to help people realize their worth and value. You know, sometimes being underestimated can be a blessing in disguise. So, as we await for the main episode, let's build up our self esteem and be better versions of ourselves. Remember what I always say be you, do you, and mind your own business. It doesn't hurt. Enjoy the ride as we await for the main episode. It's coming very, very soon. Don't forget to listen to my sessions just before the main episode. This is Watson on Kusuliwa session. This is the Becoming More podcast, here to remind you that no matter where you are in life, there is always better and absolutely more. This podcast delivers to you great thought-provoking conversations that will inspire you to think better, see better, and absolutely be better. I'm pretty excited to walk with you on this journey to becoming all that God created you to be. Greetings, everyone. This is Watson. Today, I just want to share a little bit of my story on uh, accusation. This is something that I've gone through, and most of us, I'm sure that we have gone through, not just accusation, but falsely accusations. Mundu, akuna mizira chambi, just because they are jealous or maybe they are envy of you. So they just want to bring shame to your name. Sometime in 2020, a certain man of God, a city father, in fact, gave me a, a project to do and one of his uh, royal sons decided to accuse me of not doing a proper job by replacing the videos that i did with the videos that he did he decided to change the videos that i gave him to the ones that he edited he just edited Vama Dongo Dongo and since you know he was like learning by then so when the man of god saw that i just saw the man of god saying ah, what's on the videos were not nice that's how i lost that deal the man of god never called and never gave me an explanation to why he had to let me go later in life that's when i discovered that that's what happened i felt bad but i knew that it was a setup and it was a trap and I was just accused because everything that I do, I make sure that I do them with uh, perfections. Just because of that accusation, I lost so much. Here's the thing. Accusation, the way it comes, especially if you are accused falsely, it is one of uh, the most dangerous weapons that the devil can use. As I was overcoming that, I was listening to Apostle Anthony Mwami. He said uh, the purpose of accusation is to get you out of favor with God, out of relationships that God has designed to bless you, to lose favor with people God has connected you with. After I heard that sermon, it was called accusation. And what I've uh, just read was part of uh, what he preached on. I began to think and I began to look at my life. And I also started to look at other people's lives as well, especially those that have gone through accusations. One thing that came to my mind was uh, the time when Joseph was accused that he wanted to sleep with someone in the Bible. Joseph lost favor. And the devil, if he tries everything to ruin your life and he fails, do you know what you will use next? Accusations. You will just discover that suddenly people just start to accuse you of things that you never did. People just start to get envious. People just start to say all sorts of things. But if I've seen people lose their influential positions because of accusations. I've seen strong marriages broken because of accusations. I've seen churches splitting because of accusations. I've seen relationships breaking because of accusations. One thing that I learned in my own life is that 
accusation, it doesn't give you a peace of mind. It will stress you out. So, how I dealt with accusation. One, walk faithfully with God. Two, guide your heart against bitterness and unforgiveness. Three, count your blessings and stay thankful. In out of everything that I went through, especially when it comes to accusations, I almost became a very bitter person. But after I heard that message, I realized that it's time to let go. Yeah, chima baba, chima nyonga. But bitterness can lead to death because chika nyonga maningi, you become stressed to a point whereby you know you feel as if you're not worthy of anything. So when someone accuses you, that someone has accused you, learn to let go. It's hard to like let go, but for the sake of your own peace of mind, learn to let go. I've already said this, there are battles you fight and there are battles you let God fight. Those that you let God fight doesn't mean that you are a coward or maybe you are a weakling. God knows best. So, tikavisia mumanja ya murungu, murungu azaziwa. If someone accuses you, avoid getting beat. I'll just encourage you with uh, 1 Peter 3 verse 16. It says, have a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you as of evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation with Christ. When you get accused, first thing first, cool off, stay calm, and with time, you'll be vindicated. So, brothers and sisters, nizia utichimawa both of accusations, but don't be bitter in life. Remember what I always say, be you, do you, mind your own business. It doesn't hurt. Even this, nika face je, it will pass. God bless you. Thank you for listening to the Becoming More podcast. I'm sure this conversation was thought-provoking, and I hope you've been challenged to think better, see better, and be better.